Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy, Hippo. Yo, what's going on over there? Um, I'm just gonna address the issue that I am, I apologize, really, in advance for not uploading some videos. I am sorry if I'm not even streaming whatsoever. Um, this week for me has just been rough. And no, I don't mean like mental issue wise. And if that's the case, then this would be a YouTube apology. This is just mainly a heads up of what's going to be happening. So, and yes, no, the title's not misleading. This is a guide on how to set up an Elgato. But I just want to real quick address an issue and I'm going to try to make this quick. So, I got three pictures that's going to try and eh, explain everything. And yes, they're, in, they're the best photos you can ever get. Alright, so here we go. First thing first. Uh, I got COVID. Yeah, so... It turns out things did not go well. I had to go to a certain event, and it was at a Chuck E. Cheese. Next day, I felt crap, and then as soon as I got a test, it was positive, and my lord, it was tough. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't sleep, and all that. Like It was just painful. I am getting better. I'm still a bit sick, but I am getting better. So that's good. Another thing to note, too, is that around this time, as soon as I was... Mainly when I was just diagnosed as being like, you know, a negative patient and all that. My, I went to stream a game and it was Black Ops 3. You mm, probably seen a bit of the VOD if you were there for the stream. And it ended up crashing the stream. However, and usually if I play Black Ops 3 and stream it sometimes, it kills the computer, gives me a blue screen. This time, it just killed the stream, but everything was still running. However, it did kill some frames, but that was alright. What well, wasn't alright that it bugged out my Elgato to the point where it was either a black screen or half of the foot, like half of the screen is cut in, like cut in half in a weird diagonal like shape, and it's stuck in one image. And if it tries to register another, it just pixelates and becomes like a epileptic static, which is terrible. And not to mention my, I mean, I managed to get my microphone working. By the time I'm recording this, my microphone got fixed, so that's good. However. My Elgato and my webcam is completely busted. Like, they're fried. They're gone and dead. So, I don't know how to fix that. And I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how to get that stuff handled. So, I can't really provide with a lot of stuff. Not even Twitch clips. So, I don't know. I might just make, like, shitpost memes. I might just, like, you know, just that kind of stuff. Or even see if I can try and do more tutorial videos if I can, or reaction videos, maybe something like that, or hey, maybe I might even do like a vlog kind of thing, if you're, if you're interested in vlogs, any, anything that I guess that can't be too gaming related, let me know in the com comment section below, I'll try to think of that, but yeah, first things first, hi, my name is Hippo, and welcome to the somewhat simplified guide to how to set up the Elgato. If this video somehow does help you, which is gonna again a shocker for me, I should get a little pat, uh, my, just a little pat on the back here, like, then hit the like button and subscribe button. Alrighty, welcome everyone to the world of messy cables that I'm hoping to fix later in the future. But ignore all of that. We don't care about that. What we do care about is. This bad boy, hey yo, look at that. This is a this is one of many Elgato capture cards. This one is currently the HD60. I will say that they don't make these anymore. They don't. I mean, they will still try and support it, but I, if you are gonna get an Elgato, I don't recommend the HD60. I recommend either getting the S or S Plus, or if you're a rich boy, go ahead and get the 4K. Get whatever, go what's cheap, whatever, but don't get the HD60 or anything else like that. Alright, so we got a bunch of stuff here, not really. So when you do get your order, whatever, you should have two if not three cables. Now I'll now one you will definitely get, and it is a specialized HDMI cable that's all the way back here. Now unlike this one right here, this one is gonna be specifically towards the Elgato. Now we got two types of inputs. We have a, a normal input and then an output. First, let's focus on the big one. This is what you're gonna to wanna to note. This is the input right here. So we got two plugins. One is a HDMI cable specialized for the Elgato and one is a USB cord. Now this one right here, the little tiny one, remember this, 
tiny goes to PC. Okay, the tiny one goes to PC. It's a USB. You want to plug it in, and if you do have a laptop and you are going to use like a dongle or whatever, I recommend trying to plug it into like the main computer and not a dongle, so you can get the strongest service you can get. This one right here, this will go to whatever that you're wanting to stream. So, do you want to stream an Xbox, a PlayStation, PC, a Switch, mobile, anything? You put it in here. As you can see, if you can follow the long trail, this actually goes up to my little computer slash laptop. I know, I'm poor. Don't judge. I'm just kidding. You can judge. I'm poor. And then this one right here, this one, this one's a bit tangled, but this will actually lead you to the Xbox, or really anything. In this case for me, the Xbox Series X. Now with that, we get to focus on this bad boy. This one will be your output. Now with this one, what you want to do is plug this into a monitor or a TV that your console or whatever is plugged in. So in this case, this one, if we can follow the cord, it kind of loops up. And you can kind of see it. Let me actually walk and put this back right here because we're pretty much done looking at this now. This cord right here will actually travel up and this will go into my monitor. Or again, you can plug it into a TV, do whatever you're there. And then once you do have everything plugged in, again, let's double check on this. The tiny plug-in is going to go to your computer. The specialized, um, more cubish and polished one, um, as you can see right there, this one will be going to your Xbox, your PlayStation, PC, whatever. This right here, this is what's going to be one to, this is what you want to stream. So... This one is going to power, this one is going to be what you want to stream, and this one right here, this is what you're going to want to watch. So remember, the, it's mainly the input that you're going to need to worry about. So if you do have that memorized, again, output, go to tiny goes to PC, the HDMI that comes with the, oh, we're going out of focus, the HDMI that comes with the, or with the Elgato goes to your console. And the extra HDMI, which in my pack one, if not, that's all right, go ahead and find one. This will go to a monitor or a TV where your game is at, where like you normally play it. And with that, that's all you need to know about the Elgato. All right, now let's go and head back to the digital world. Let's freaking go. Boy, that is a handsome man. All right, now that we have our Elgato set up, we know what we're going to stream and we know what we're going to capture. Let's go ahead and start downloading our, well, materials. First, or two things for two things. First of all, go to the website elgato.com. And once you do, there's going to be a far on the right, there's going to be a far corner on the right side of the screen, top right corner, right around here. You want to click downloads. This will take you to this page right here. Now, with this, we get two options, or three if you want to count this, measly small text. We don't need to worry about this, I think. This is what you want to know. We got two, op we got two options that we have to select. We have the select your product and what platform you're going to try and um, use your capture card for. Now, if you're going to be using your laptop or your computer, honestly, just make sure you have a strong... Um, PC or anything like that and what you're gonna do is select what platform now this is only going to be applying to what device you're going to use to try and capture so if even though say you're streaming on Xbox or PlayStation this rule does not apply what's gonna apply is what's gonna try and power that so in this case what are you gonna be trying to streaming on are you gonna be streaming the Mac or the Windows what you want to try and do is select whatever platform you're going to use. So in this case for me, I'm using a Windows operated computer. As you can see, I'm on Windows 11 from well, some of the from the bottom bar or whatever this is called. And now we need to select what kind of product. Now, ignore audio, ignore cameras. What we're going to mainly focus on is captures. Oh, I screwed the screen. All right. Now, here's an exception. If you, like me, are rocking with the original HD60 Elgato, then you want to click to Video Capture. 
But for this tutorial, I'm just going to be going with a simple HD60 Plus or S Plus. But again, whatever Elgato you're using, select what is right here. And if you see one that's below the S or anything that's below the HD or just a simple capture card, go down here and then click whatever. So again, in this case, we're going to click the HD60. Now, whatever you click, you're going to be dragged on here and it's going to show you what you have. Now, again, it shows what it's going to be compatible for whatever. Now, again, if you need to, same rules apply. If you have an older model, then here you go. It's right here. It will tell you requirements, get your hard drive. But once you have everything, make sure you click or make sure you see what they have, what you can use for, and then click download. Once you do, you'll get like a little exe file or whatever kind of file. What you want to do is soon let it download, activate it by double clicking on it or again anywhere like that that you build a normal app and you want to follow the applications and it will ask you to change your device. So if you need to make room or if you need to delete some stuff or anything like that in between, go ahead and do that and when you do, it will let you download two applications and this is what it's going to show you. Let me go ahead and bring these two up here. You're going to get two Elgato devices. You'll get the game capture and the sound capture. With both of these, you'll be able to basically change your stream's quality and sound quality. Now, I will say this too. This is just a separate way to stream off of whatever you're going to, you know, stream on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Gaming, Mixer, whatever. Sadly, Mixer doesn't exist. I'm still gonna brat. I'm still gonna be sad about it. So, but in this case, you just want to know how to stream. So, ignore sound capture for now. You can worry about this later. What you want to do is simply click on the game capture card HD. And I will say this as a heads up: if you don't see these applications pull up, it'll probably tell you to run run them as a just a real quick star where you just click on it. But yeah. Anywho. Here we are, Game Capture HD, oh my lord, look at that, it's the gaming capture device. Now, this is what we're going to do, you, you see that your Elgato is ready for use, if you don't see it, click the show device settings, that you can click up here too if you want, click, click any of the gearboxes, and this is what you'll see. If you see that your Elgato is hooked up, make sure you have it in correctly, now again, if you need to, rewind back to the live action part of the video. We got capture, picture, audio, profiles, and advance. Just focus on captures because this is going to be your default. Focus on what you're going to try and stream. So, for me in this case, what I have my device hooked up to is my Xbox Series X. So, if you're going to stream off your computer, or you're going to stream off of your Xbox, or you're going to stream off your PlayStation, anything like that, it'll list a a giant and I mean a giant list of any well really anything that your stream is going to adapt to so in this case I'm streaming off of the Series X so I am going to be using the Series X as my input now with that I'll make sure you also have your other cables hooked up to where it needs to in this case for me mine's logged on HDMI since I am using an HDMI cable and it's also hooked up to my monitor obviously just Obviously put in the thing, I recommend just putting them all on default, make sure the color range is standard, and make sure you have it on the good quality or where like, your computer can handle it. And here's a cool thing I like about Elgato. Now obviously when you have everything, click OK, and boom, it should set up. Now here's another, now again, here's the thing I like about, El about Elgato. What if your computer, or your Mac, or whatever, is not good? What if it's not up to speed? What if it's have bad loading time? Here's what I like about it. Elgato will actually tell you what you can use and what you can't use because of your overall CPU or just, again, how capable your PC is. In this case for me, my computer is somewhat strong, so I'm able to have custom widgets, custom backgrounds, etc., etc., or even just simply adding a webcam. And same thing too with other stuff. You can try and add chat mods to this, and again, or even create your own. So, if, if there's an overlay you want to add, you can add it. And if you want to know anything else, there is something. If you click the eye, you can actually look at 
again more research on how to like you know upgrade or update or anything like that or even if you are having trouble and if there's a new patch update for a certain Elgato sadly HD 60 isn't have one because they sadly don't make them anymore but if you have one that's for a new updated so like a 4k Elgato you can click right here for check for updates and it will actually tell you and it will automatically update everything or if you just want to know how the Elgato works and if you need to make repairs Everything you need to know will be also up here. Again, all this stuff is pretty much optional. So if, but if ever needed, or if you're interested, click the little eye icon right here. And yeah, there you go. Now, this stuff right here, from live streaming, game audio, all that stuff, it's not too important, but we will focus on one thing and one thing in particular, and that will be the live commentary. Now, you could also focus on the game on audio if you want. But if you are going to, I don't really recommend streaming this off the Elgato unless if you want to. So real quick, I will say this. If you want to make, if you want to stream just straight off the Elgato and not using an OBS, whether it's Streamlabs or just simple OBS, then just go right here, click the plus, find whatever account you have. So like say you're streaming on Twitch, for example, put your Twitch, put your Twitch login in there and boom, you'll get it. And then obviously you don't have to worry about this because the title and stuff will be down here including with the description and of course its tags but what we want to focus on is live commentary plug in your, a certain microphone so in this case i just got my microphone plugged in right here so now hopefully it's not like reverb or anything but you can plug in your microphone in there and again same thing too with anything else you can plug in your microphone in here and again if you are having a trouble with it or you just need help click the eye icon and it should bring you up with these with this window and again, anything you need, it will also help you and it will even answer some good questions. So again, if this video isn't helpful, then there is a link to that. So, and also, just in case if you can't get the eye to work, I will have the stuff link in the description. Maybe I might forget it. Let me know if I did and you could call me a, you could call me a, you could call me stupid. I don't know. I don't know. Just say I'm dumb. D U M B B D B E D P D P. Yeah, 